Hi, this is the CAD CAM Lessons channel. Today, as part of the exercises, we will create a part in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a free 3D modeling software that anyone can use. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. Now let's move on to FreeCAD and I will show you how to create a part in FreeCAD. We will use simple and basic operations in FreeCAD. For beginners, this can be a short introduction to working with this system. And for those who have already created some 3D models in FreeCAD, it can simply be a practice session. I will start a new project as a parametric part and we will begin by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Here, we will draw a rectangle. Select the centered rectangle. This command is available by expanding the rectangle drawing options. We select this command. Place the center of the rectangle at the origin of the coordinate system and enter 100 for one dimension of the rectangle. Press enter to switch to specifying the second dimension and here we enter 50. Close the sketch and based on this sketch we will create a solid by extruding the sketch. We select the pad operation and here we create a solid with a height of 10 millimeters, which means we leave the default value and click OK. Now we will create another sketch on the sketch plane. We will select one of the base planes of the coordinate system and here we will choose the XZ plane. Draw two circles in such a way that the centers of these circles lie on the Y axis. We select the circle drawing tool, hover over the Y axis and draw the first circle with a diameter of 50 millimeters. Now the circle drawing command is still active. We hover over the Y axis, click anywhere on the Y axis and for the diameter of the second circle we enter 80 millimeters. I right click to cancel the circle drawing command. And now I will specify the distances of the centers of the circles from the origin of the coordinate system. I select the center of the larger circle, press the D key and specify the dimension along the Y axis. Here I enter 40 millimeters. Now I click on the center of the smaller circle and specify the dimension along the Y axis. And here I enter 80 millimeters. I right click to cancel the dimensioning command. I want to change the value of this dimension, so I double click the left mouse button to edit this dimension and here I enter 90 millimeters. Now, based on this sketch, I would like to create a fragment of a solid. However, here as you can see, we have a piece of geometry and we need to adjust this geometry a bit. First, I will switch to the sketch plane view. Now, I select the create external geometry command to create reference geometry for the solid because here I want to draw a line along this edge. To make it easier, I will create reference geometry here. I right click to cancel this command and now I select the line drawing tool and draw a line in such a way that both points of the line lie on this reference line. The length of this line at this moment does not matter much. I right click to cancel this command. Now I select this point, select this circle and choose the coincident constraint. This constraint caused this point to be linked to this circle and earlier this point was linked to this line. So at this moment this point is linked to both this line and this circle. Then I select this point, select the circle and choose the coincident constraint so as to link this point to this circle. Now we have this geometry. And here we have some unnecessary parts of this geometry. In the sketching tool, we have the geometry trimming command available. So we select this command and trim the unnecessary parts of the geometry. First, let's remove this part of the geometry and pay attention to how when you hover over this part of the geometry, snaps appear here and these points that appear here indicate the limits of the cut. If I click on this geometry from this side, then from one point to the other point, this geometry will be removed. I click here and a segment of this circle has been removed. We do the same with this segment of the circle 
and this segment of the circle. Now, based on this sketch, we will create another fragment of the solid. We close the sketch, and here we will create an extrusion in such a way that it is added symmetrically relative to the sketch plane, meaning it is added in both directions. Because if we now select the pad command and specify the length of the extrusion here, pay attention that this extrusion is added in one direction. But we have an option called symmetric to plane. Now the extrusion is added in two directions, and here for the length of the extrusion, enter 40 millimeters and click OK. Now in a similar way, we will create next fragments of the solid. Choose the create sketch command and select the XZ plane as the sketch plane. Next we will create reference geometry. Select this command and create reference geometry based on this edge and this edge. The reference geometry is currently invisible because this geometry is on the sketch plane and the sketch plane passes through the center of the solid. Therefore, we click this icon, select the view section command to switch to the view of the sketch plane. Now we select the circle drawing tool and draw two circles whose centers will be placed at these points. We draw the first circle here and for the diameter of this circle, we enter 30 millimeters. We draw the second circle whose center will be placed at this point and for the diameter of this circle we enter 45 millimeters. We press enter, close the sketch and based on this sketch we will create another fragment of the solid. Select this command and here as in the previous case we check the symmetric to plane option. For the extrusion length we enter 50 millimeters and click OK. Next we will create holes in this solid. We will also do this based on a sketch created on the XZ plane. We select the create sketch command, choose the XZ plane as the sketch plane, select the create external geometry command to create reference geometry based on these edges to get the midpoint of these fragments of the solid. We switch to the view of the sketch plane and select the circle drawing command. We draw two circles. The first circle has its center positioned at this point, and here we enter 20 millimeters for the diameter of the circle. We draw the second circle with a diameter of 35 millimeters. We close the sketch, and now, based on this sketch, we will create holes in this solid, and we will do it using the pocket operation. We select this operation and here as the pocket type we have a through all type which will define that the pocket is made through the entire solid. However, at this moment this pocket has been made only in one direction and here, just like with the extrusion, we also need to check the symmetric to plane option. Now we have a pocket made through the entire solid and this pocket is a through pocket. We click OK to confirm this. Now we will add fillets and in this case we will create fillets based on specified edges. To make it easier to specify edges, let's switch to wireframe view. Now in this view, with the control key, we select the edges to fillet. We select these four edges and choose the fillet command. Here, as the radius value, enter 10 millimeters and click OK. Now we will create fillets on the other edges. With the control key, select these edges. Select the fillet command, and even though we select the edges in wireframe view, at any time we can switch to as is view to see how it will look in the preview. Let's add fillets here with a radius of 3 millimeters and click OK. And as you can see in this way, using these few simple operations, we created such a solid. Overall, creating 3D models in FreeCAD is about building a 3D solid step by step. By utilizing simple shapes and basic operations, we can create quite complex shapes. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.